When my guy Noah first tagged me in this, I thought it was fake. I really thought it was fake. Because I was in the middle, me and Carter were playing Mario Golf. And I, I got to learn a lot of these golf terms like bogey and par. And this is a bunch of stuff that I didn't know what they were talking about. But anyway, it's a fun game though. But we were in the middle playing Mario Golf. And he tagged me in this tweet that said, Ravens running back Gus Edwards tested positive and will miss the first 10 days of training camp per sources. So I was thinking, oh. Somebody really trolling with that. Why do they do that? These fake accounts, these fake Adam Schefter accounts. But then I looked again and said, wait a minute. That's real. That's real. And I know this news, um, it was it was like, oh, I saw some people saying, here we go again. Oh, not again. Not, not this thing hitting us again like last year. Because we remember the whole mess before that Steelers game. It, it felt like we were never going to play the Steelers. Uh, Cause they kept delaying it and postponing it and changing the date and it was just crazy. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? And even though I liked the game on a Wednesday afternoon, I loved it, but I didn't like how we got there. It was a very unfortunate situation and unfortunate circumstances. So we we don't want to see any team have to go through some that crazy uh, again. But with the Gus Edwards. They said he tested positive, so he's going to miss the first 10 days uh, of training camp. So he will not be part of these training camps that I know a lot of people are going to be going to. Uh, still looking for a pass for the 30th, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, no big deal. Uh, so he won't be part of the 31st open practice. Uh, he won't be there at all. Um, so this is like, it's a bittersweet thing. Obviously, it's not sweet for Gus Edwards at all with him getting ready to miss time from training camp. But this with Gus Edwards, we know he's going to be fine. We know he knows the playbook. He can still participate virtually and stuff, but he just can't be physically present. And again, with him just missing the first 10 days of training camp, he may miss if, if he even was going to play in it. Um, he probably might miss the first preseason game. If that, if that. Um, but with, with Gus Edwards, it's not like. This guy is like a rookie and he's going to be getting set back now. He's not going to understand the playbook. Now. No, Gus Edwards will be fine. He will be good. Um, so hopefully Gus Edwards gets well soon. Hopefully everything will be good to go with him when he gets back and, and they can move forward. But one of the sweet parts about it is that this is happening now rather than later. Because had it happened later in regular season, even though I still think the Ravens will be straight, Gus Edwards is Gus Edwards. <laughs> like, the Ravens do not have another Gus Edwards on the squad right now. So, better now than later. Now, another sweet part of this is for anybody besides J.K. Dobbins. Because we already know that he got his spot. It's locked up. But anybody besides J.K. Dobbins, this helps them. This helps them. Because this gives them more of an opportunity to show their stuff. Justice Hill, um, and any I know there's an undrafted rookie running back that we got too. I can't forget. I can't remember the name at the at the present. But this helps everybody that's below uh, Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins and helps them get their time to shine. Now, um, so it's nothing that I would worry about. Nothing that I would. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's a it's a deal. But it's not a long-term big deal. So anyway, shout out to Gus Edwards. Now, this is Team Keep It Clean. And Nick Boyle, he had a little cleanup surgery. Let's see what Jeff Zrebik had to say. He said uh, Nick Boyle had a recent knee cleanup surgery. The timetable for his return is not clear, but his return to practice to the practice field uh, isn't viewed as imminent. So Nick Boyle, I mean, he... Just a little cleanup surgery, so nothing big, nothing that really changes too much. Um, we had heard that he was running and cutting uh, on the surgically repaired knee that he had, so he was getting closer, but even then, he still didn't really give us a timetable to return. So, um, with him, I don't even know what the expectation is right now. He is on the physically unable to perform list. Um, so hopefully the case is that he can come off of there by regular season time because we got a month and change left. But uh, I, I think he'll be straight. I think he'll be good to go by then. But, hey, we'll see. We'll see. 
Because remember, with the physically unable to perform list, with the pup, because I know some of y'all are like, oh, why do you keep saying physically unable to perform list? Why don't you just say pup? Why don't you just say P-U-P? Uh, but <laughs> anyway, with, with the physically unable to perform list, I know it's kind of fun to say. But anyway, with that, um, if you start the season on that, then you, you miss the first six weeks from jump. You, you cannot come back. Even if you're healthy, even if you're good to go, you have to miss the first six weeks if you're on there at the beginning of the season. So hopefully he's not, but we'll see if he is. Now, same scenario. And this was already the scenario because he had already been hurt and he wasn't a full go for practice yet. With the tight end situation, we know Ravens got about 32 tight ends. They got 32 tight ends. Mark Andrews is the only guy whose roster spot is locked up. In fact, we, we could hear any day now from Mark Andrews that, hey, Ravens locked him up for the next four or five years. But probably Lamar first. Though. But anyway, Mark Andrews is the only tight end that's straight, that's safe. Other than that, it's a big question mark. Who's going to be that tight end? Who's going to be the other tight end or other tight ends? Because I think so much depends on Nick Boyle's health. So much. Because if he starts on PUP, Ravens got to keep two more tight ends, in my opinion. They keep two more. So, Nick Boyle, his, he has a huge impact on the roster decisions. Uh, so, Josh Oliver, he would be my guess to have that leg up on everybody else. Um, but, again, the biggest thing with him is health. And I was just thinking about it a couple of minutes ago. I'm thinking, like, man, at a lot of positions, we, we, with, with a lot of the depth on the Ravens, not even the depth starters, too, but um, at, at so many different positions, we don't question these guys' ability. We don't question if these guys can play. We don't question if these guys can ball. The biggest question, I think, is health. Starting on offense, obviously Lamar, Tyler Huntley, they'll be good to go. Um, but then on the offensive line, Ronnie Stanley, how can he bounce back from his injury? How is his health? Then you move a little over on the offensive line, to the tight ends. Nick Boyle is the missing link right now. How is his health? Then you go out wide to the wide receivers. Oh, yeah, we drafted Rashad Bateman. Great. Hollywood. Okay, cool. Oh, we still got the other guys coming back. But somebody else that we added this offseason who looks to make a major impact is Sammy Watkins. We know he can play, but our biggest question mark is his health. Then we flip it to the other side. Defensive line, usually Calais Campbell, Brandon Williams, Derek Wolf. They do their thing. But Pernell McPhee, he's had a few little injuries here and there. But I don't, I, for me, I don't think health is a big concern for him. It's a slight concern, but not a big concern. And then he, we, we go to the linebackers. Same thing. Tyus Bowser, Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison, LJ Fort. We're not worried about their health. But then we go to the secondary. Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, they're usually pretty good. Tavon Young, Jimmy Smith. We question their health. Because, again, we know they can ball. We know these dudes can play. No questions about that. No doubts about that. But we question their health. Deshaun Elliott. Last line of defense. He's a safety. Now, last year, he did his thing, which was great. We were super happy for him. And we hope that that just continues. But the only question mark with Deshaun Elliott, again, it's not if he can play. And again, he got better along at the, that the season went on. But again, biggest question would be health. So all across the board with the Ravens, that is one of the biggest things. I mean, you could really say that about any team, but we're speaking about Ravens specifically in this situation. So hopefully these boys can all be healthy. Hopefully these boys will be, all be good to go, man. Because um, we're we here. Like, we're here. Y'all see, again, <laughs> slow season is over. So I know a lot of y'all, especially me too, we were getting used to one one video a day. We okay, we chill now, we relax, we take it easy, relax. But then stuff keeps happening over and over and over and over and over. It's like whoa, okay. But hey, it's all good. We ain't complaining. Team, keep it clean. I love you. I love you. I love you. For real. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. You watching this right now, thank you for everything that you do. I appreciate it. If ain't nobody tell you that today, I'm letting you know right now, and I'm straight up. I appreciate you. So y'all be easy. 
Y'all stay up. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay smart. And we out.